Hi, it's Julian Barker at South Street Chiropractic. I'm here with my friend Matt Argyle, who's a two times world bodybuilding champion. We're just gonna go actually through and just do one of our routine adjustments. He's just telling me he's got a bit of a, a neck thing and some kind of background kind of stiffness and maybe kind of headache stuff. And I, I've just talked him into um, doing a shirt off moment. Um, he, he wasn't prepared, he didn't know this was coming no. up. And um, so it's a bit cruel, but um, we're just gonna do it anyway. So whip your shirt off, jump up, lie down. I'm hoping actually when I'm adjusting, you'll be able to see some kind of muscle twitch and that kind of stuff that happens. Just that the mat's just got the muscle bolt to actually make it look easier. Good. Knees there, climb up, lie down, stick your nose in there. So, we got some fantastic muscle definition. We were doing an interview earlier on and we were talking about uh, when we first met and I've got a, um, a frame upstairs that puts you on a kind of a grid line on a plumb line. And Matt was telling me about, because he had a bit of a shoulder issue and there was a bit of a curve going on there, which is no more. And obviously in, 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 in the world of bodybuilding, that uh, making sure everything is level is really super important. Okay, so. Okay, Matt tends to be a, a little bit of a, a, a left PD, and uh, yeah, so you put in, it, it's a couple of minutes, and I think it's well within normal. And uh, we'll just run through. Okay. So, how many times a week are you training at the moment? Uh, four. Four times a week, yes, yeah. And, uh, well, I'm always impressed when I, whenever I ask you this question. Uh, uh, this is one of those questions that uh, people seem to like to know. Yes. So what, what, uh, what are you benching at the moment? <laughs> uh, my best is uh, 132 kilos. 132 kilos. And how many reps would you do on that? Uh, just the one. Just uh, it's one rep. Well, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. So for those who've uh, watched these videos, you'll see I'm just running through what's called the essential scan, uh, as we normally do here. Picking up a couple of minor things here. So right medial tibia and a right, uh, sorry, left medial tibia and a left PI ilium. Squeeze your knees together and let go. Nothing going on there. So have your left hand up behind your back. Swap your hands around. Both hands up behind your back together. And both back down by sides. Very clear L4 there. So, we were talking earlier on about the, the amount of weight when so Matt's doing squats that he puts through uh, puts through this area and uh, yeah not surprisingly it can cause uh, some micro traumas and uh, yeah clearly picking that up let's just try that again so right hand behind your back there we go that's got that lovely hand back down by side left hand up by your face Big deep breath in and out. Right hand up as well. So, there we go, a bit of a TA thing. As I'm coming up there and getting that change, I'm just going beyond the 90, and actually that right leg is pulling a little bit more. So, um, arms down by your side. So, looking for a, uh, a bit of sensitivity. Matt would probably never admit to tenderness, but a bit of sensitivity around about T8, I guess would be here. Yeah, you feeling that? So the test is accurate. It says, you know, there's no rotation going on. I actually need to adjust um, um, in a um, anterior inferior direction. Go down to setting two, because when you adjust it straight onto that, well, you know, you definitely feel it, don't you? Mm, yeah. yeah, for sure. Feels like it's going right the way through you. Um, Okay, let's turn your head to the left. It's interesting you used the phrase when we were doing the interview, and, uh, Matt used the phrase micro adjustments. It didn't feel particularly micro there, <laughs> did it? <laughs> um, lift the left shoulder up off the couch and back down. 
Shrug both shoulders up to your ears and back down. There we go, very clear. T1 again, come out on the left side. You're right handed, aren't you? Uh, left. You're left handed, okay. Squeeze the left elbow flat against your side and let go. That makes two of us. All the best people are, right? Eh? Yeah. Um, squeeze the right elbow into your side and let go. I think we've had that conversation in the past, haven't we? Yeah. Um, shrug your shoulders up and roll them back. Up and roll and down. Yeah, okay, head back into the centre. So T1 rib. So T1 and T1 rib. So um, it's definitely going to involve some um, some traps. You know, you can't be adjusting onto T1 rib without going through uh, upper trapezius and upper. Oh yeah, definitely. You getting this? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it actually feels feels like a muscle knot. It's a you know it's a myofascial trigger point there. It's on the spine. Um, so. On the, when you're just in the T1, normally the line of drive is anterior superior, but actually you can be fairly flat onto it because the 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 uh, the anterior bit, the superior bit, is, is being done by the the curve of the, the natural curve of the spine. And coming up onto a T1, um, I'm going to I can feel there's a trigger point in. I'm going to be back there in a moment. Let's hit retest that. Just straight inferior, and, and uh, I think hopefully it shows up on the camera. I saw that big twitch run across the muscle there. So what's called the twitch response, and that means you you know you're just affecting that whole neuro muscle fascial component and um, functionality of that muscle. So um, just lift up your head and back down. Tuck your chin down to your chest. Back to centre, and we are on to Atlas here, and down to set in one, and come in there, finger on the mastoid process, finger on the angle of the jaw, Atlas will be in the middle, just come right onto the lateral border, one of those sensitive spots anyway, and on to yeah, okay. Had quite a big change actually, so I just want to recheck that one. Tuck your chin down to your chest, uh, back to centre. That's a good example actually. If you just do that once, once again, tuck that chin down to your chest, back to centre. You can see the whole kind of shoulder neck movement and how that, that movement is affecting a large amount of this uh, shoulders and spine. And now it's coming up level, you know, that's going to make a massive difference to, especially when you're, you know, trying to push your way through 132 kilos, you know. Um, stretch, uh, stretch your left hand towards your left knee, and back round. And right hand to right knee, and there you go. That's good. Um, I said I'd just check the uh, trapezius, so turn your head to the right. Tip the back of your head towards your left shoulder. Yeah, you see that's clearly coming up the head back into the center. Find that trigger point there. And again, straight into it. Cool. Good. I'm going to stop there. I'm actually just going to do another video just focusing in on things for headaches with Matt and we'll just do that as a separate video and I'll, I'll see you next time.